We are here for a new series. Why was that so long? I was trying to be dramatic. Like long pause. New cool. series. We've got you know, starting a fire over here. Apparently, new series. Got a new couch. We got new everything. So we are here uh, for. Maybe we should do a reaction on the couch, like recline and everything. Be like, oh. Yes, because we did a reaction with both of us falling asleep. That's true. Again. <laughs> Because that's exactly how well, the... That show is not that great in my opinion. I actually changed my opinion on that show. Our initial well, reaction for you. to... Um, you want a cookie? Jeez. Halfway... Ho- um, I'll go microwave one. Oh my god. I like to microwave my chocolate chip cookies. I can't remember the, I can't remember the name of the show right now. You're throwing me off somewhere. The Viva, Viva is a pop. The one who's a hell of a boss. Their first uh, the halfway uh, whatever hotel we did a reaction to, but I was exhausted and I ended up like zoning out and I felt really bad. When I actually watched other people's reaction, I was like, oh, and I was more awake. I was like, oh, that's actually really good. You know, which is why, why you should would do you reaction. watch a reaction to it if because you didn't we were, like it? Because we were going to still post the reaction, so I went online to see what other people like. Dean Barry. He was one of the people whose reactions I watched. Did for their reaction because we mm-hmm. had copyright strikes and I was trying to be careful. Mm-hmm. They posted full episodes. Like, okay, so I'll just go do that. And went into ours and found it corrupted. Which is why it's never been posted. So, point is... And we I, were falling asleep. Or at least I was. I was never posted. It was really bad. But I actually ended up enjoying it. And then that's why I ended up doing Hell of a Boss on my own. The summary of what we're not doing here aside... <laughs> We are here for Epitaph Erase. This is something that's been requested for us a couple of times by our username, Mr. Styro. Uh, we promised we would get to it for him, and that is what we are here here. That is what we are here to do today. I can't speak, apparently. So all I know about this, because she knows absolutely nothing, because she was just kind of like... I was trying to figure out if it was family friendly because then I was going to be like, well, we could just watch it with the kids, but it didn't answer that on Google. I Googled it in like five different ways. I worded it five different ways and I still couldn't get a rea- like an actual answer to my question. So I was just like, you know what? F this. We'll watch the episode and I guess if it's family friendly, we could always consider doing it with the kids, but it was very annoying. Why did she even tell me you were doing that? Oh, I know about do it. Do I tell you everything I do? No. Don't I tell you everything I do? Do you want me to tell you every time I blow my nose? <laughs> That's a shaman argument. <laughs> I see your rhetoric. <laughs> uh, anyway, all I know about it is it's done by Jello Apocalypse, who we do know from This Is Basically Ruby. Which I didn't like. I... Didn't dislike, but I didn't like. I didn't like the things he was saying about Ruby. I didn't agree with a vast majority of them. Um, he's wrong. The Ru- writing of Ruby is actually very well done. Um, it's not perfect. I like how you're just like he's wrong. But his he- opinion is his opinion. Like, well, it is. But in my opinion, his opinion is wrong. Okay, then say that. My point is, we live in a PC state. My point is, as a writer, this is why one of our first videos is me yelling at the camera. As a writer, I feel the writing in Ruby is well done. It is not perfect. It's not what everybody likes. The plot has definitely pissed some people off. But overall, I believe it's well done. I do not believe that volumes 4 and 5 are garbage, as he said. But I did think the impressions were good. I did laugh at several of the jokes. I did um, not. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I didn't like it. <laughs> She's saying this, but I remember her laughing. The point is, we're willing to give this one a shot. This, this show, Epitaph Erased. So, we'll see how we like it. And if we like it, uh, we'll keep going. And if we don't, well, you'll see that. And if we don't, I'm already going to apologize in advance to, to Mr. Styro. Sorry, man. We tried. Here's hoping we like it. I look really fat in this bra and shirt. No, you don't. You're so annoying the way you hate the way you look. You look amazing. Yeah, it was really cool when Cam and Garcia said, compared Raven to me. Because when I was a kid, I always wanted to be Raven from Teen Titans. We also went to C2E2 recently. Yeah. 
I think you're prettier was, than Raven is. She was like, she was like, uh, she has hair like your mom. I think you're far prettier than Raven is. To be honest, my hair is not as purple as I would like. You can bleach it. <laughs> and here we go. Is that an epithet? Maybe. A little bit or not. What time is it? The field trip was supposed to end at four. Did he really leave without me? Well, <sighs> I guess I'll call him. She pats her pockets, and he has my phone. Dad. Oh, maybe the receptionist desk has one. Internal and emergency calls only. <sighs> I guess I'll just walk home. Huh? Why is it locked from the inside? Oh no. This is an interesting uh, animating style. Come here to steal. I bet I already stepped on a bunch of security lasers. It's all over. An alarm would be going <laughs> off. Well, I'm going to turn myself in. I like how that's what you have a problem with. Not this. Okay. Random mustard colored bad guy. Okay, all right. It's epithet or whatever. Epithet. Epithet. Episode one. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be family friendly. Do you want to stop it here? No, no I, I'd rather know for sure. to their soul that lets them do stuff. Now, show of hands, who here is inscribed? Oh, Molly, little girl, little girl right here, ma'am. Oh, great. Wow, you must be <laughs> very lucky. Only about one in every five people have an epithet. What can your epithet do? Go on, Molly. Go on, tell the lady. Oh, um, nothing much. It's it's dumb. Come on, kid. Work with me here. I'm not hourly. No, I mean, it's actually dumb. Okay. Anyone else here have an epithet? Anyone at all? Oh, oh, I do. I have an epithet, Lady Mara. No, anyone else? Oh, oh, me, me. I can tell them my epithet. No, it does. It's fine. I can just move on with the tour. I want to know what his epithet is. Yeah. yeah. Well, what? No more, children. For my epithet is... Barrier! And it allows me to make barriers! Ok. 
Okay. <laughs> Isn't this exciting, Molly? <laughs> Woo! Hold on to that energy. <laughs> You're gonna need it for the night shift. What? But you said you'd be home tonight. I ran the store yesterday and the day before that. I was gonna catch up on homework. Oh, come on, Molly. I'm doing the field trip chaperone thing today. I already punched my parent card. That means I get wow. to Wow. But oh, this is hard work, kiddo. I mean, but wow. Since we gotta fill out, what is an epithet? Those for the advanced stuff. I'm the one who filled them out, though. Yeah, and I got tired just watching you. In fact, give me your phone. I wanna play games. This school stuff is so boring. <laughs> Am I right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. High five. Don't touch me. Seriously, though, give me your phone. Okay. She hands it over. Cool! He begins playing an obnoxiously loud phone game! Hmm. Wow. It seems your tour group is not very interested in your tour. Of course they aren't. This stuff is so basic it's insulting. But it is our duty as museum guides to make sure the guests have as enjoyable a time as possible, Lady Mira! I told you to stop calling me that. I know! Hey! Children! Who wants to hear a story about a magic artifact? <laughs> Yes! It is a special necklace called the Arsen Amulet. Yes? And I am told that it can steal a person's epithet. And this shut up! I bet something like that would be pretty valuable. Valuable enough that somebody might even want to try and steal it. And is! That exhibit isn't public yet. I'm sorry, Lady Mira. I thought it would spice up your boring epithet tour. Because it is a necklace. That steals epithets. How wow. about I stick to giving tours and you stick to moving boxes? Very well! I shall do it with gusto! Simplify things. What? That's better. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go take a nap, okay? Huh? What? Molly, you know I can't hear you when you're silenced. Oh, <laughs> well, more for me. Uh, oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Molly runs off to the empty end of the hall looking for somewhere quiet to rest. But as she does, her steps become. Uncertain. Her legs start to wobble and her eyes suddenly feel oh, heavy. Why am I so tired? I guess I was up running the toy store the last three nights. And tonight. And maybe if I just sit down for a second. Epithet erased. Mine is buried. Sleeps on the floor. Easy to trick into eating bugs. Yeah. It's already over. No. Oh. Cereal marshmallows. The museum will be closing in five minutes. Please make your way to the exits now. Check it out! I totally nabbed 
that flat yeah. Hang on. Feels like I'm forgetting something. Keys, wallet, phone. Keys, wallet, phone. Hmm. Two phones. No wallet. Well, that's three. Oh, my God. Attention. I feel like the person who made this had a lot of par parental museum. issues. I believe it. They always make, like, the adults kind of... Look like... upon us and fear, museum goers! He menacingly walks over to the pot of plant and, to show that he is a certified bad dude, kicks it as hard as he can! <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, shoot that! That's right! Just a little taste of what happens when you mess with us! Oh, it hurts a lot! Behold, Seriously. Your worst I guess. In all its dark glory! He dramatically flips around, but he turns too fast and his cape kind of just smacks him in the face. I, Giovanni Potage, fearlessly Potage? bonsai blasters, have come to steal your precious treasures! Tremble before me! Uh, hey! Where is everyone? That was a really cool entrance and we broke through the glass and everything. Uh, I think the museum is closed for the day. <laughs> they must have heard we were coming and run off. After all, we're not just any thieves. We're the Bonsai Blasters! <laughs> the baddest of the bad. Pose with me, minions! <laughs> They do. It's bad, all right. Hi, I'd like to report a robbery. Hey, hey, stop that! He reaches back <coughs> and a really <coughs> ball of red liquid forms in the air. He chucks it at the phone and it clatters across the floor. Hello? Hello? This is my first mission as a bonsai captain, and I won't let some little tattletale ruin it. How'd you like the taste of my epithet, little girl? It's pretty good, actually. Is this tomato basil? Thank you. I seasoned it myself. Ow! I mean, no. It's love. Oh my god. Acid. Love. Acid. It tastes like soup. Is your epithet soup? <coughs> oh my god. It's a mean disc, literally. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I know it's rude to ask, but you are attacking me and all. Dare undermine the great Giovanni Potage? Oh, I see how it is. So far, we have three epithets of this, and they're all stupid. Really something. A barrier could be cool. No, no, no. You don't dumb and super that. stupid. It's dumb. No threat at all. <laughs> so you do have an epithet. <laughs> Two lords behind you. <laughs> he grabs her by the scruff of her bear hoodie and holds her aloft like a baby kitten. <laughs> Another foe effortlessly defeated by Giovanni Potage. You're lucky. I don't have time to toy with you today, little girl. I've got treasures to steal. Come, my minions, to the vault! Or wherever museums keep their stuff! Oh, hold up! Flamethrower! Car crash! <coughs> ben, you stay here ben. and guard this girl. We can have He's the most dangerous of them all. I wanted to see the treasure. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to rob the museum at the stroke of midnight, Ben. But someone couldn't fit it into his schedule, and we had to do it in the afternoon. So now this girl is here, okay? Crush her! Spike! Dark Star, you're with me. He sits Molly down in the secretary's chair and ties her up with some duct tape. You stay here. Be good. Okay. <laughs> evil! 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 Man, I can't believe we don't get to steal anything. This sucks. Yeah, thanks a lot, Ben. It's not my fault. Mom said she wouldn't drive me around past five. It wouldn't be a problem if I had a ride car crash. Oh, uh, here we go. You crashed one car four times and suddenly it's your name. You're such an idiot. Well, this isn't so bad, I guess. Maybe if they finish their robbery quick enough, they can give me a ride home. I might even make it back in time for work. Oh, 
Molly casts a nervous glance at the bonsai blasters. He doesn't look like they noticed him. She casts a silence bubble around herself and scoots her chair over to the man. Mr. Tour Guide, what are you doing? Well, Lady Mara and I are the only guards here tonight, so I was instructed to make sure no one else was here. Then I looked on the cameras and saw that you were here. And now a lot of people are here. And the entrance exploded. And you know what would fix that? A barrier! Oh, shh, shh. They'll hear you. See those guys? They're bad guys. <laughs> bad guys? Yeah, I need to get home. Can you get me out of this chair? I'm using my epithet so they can't hear us, but we only have so much time until they turn around. Of course, small girl. Barrier! He forms a small barrier the size of a donut in his hand and begin smacking it lightly against the tape like a caveman. Hmm, my barrier doesn't seem to be sharp enough. Can you try ripping it with your hands? Oh, that is a good idea. The barrier disappears and he begins removing the tape. Bad guys, eh? Lady Mera won't like this. Mm. She won't like this at all. I must deal with them for her. I'm sure they'll leave after they're done stealing things. <laughs> I cannot allow that. I am an honorable warrior. I must fight anyone who opposes my lady's wishes. He finishes ripping the tape off of Molly. Hey, you! Bad guys! They can't hear My name is Indus Tarbella, and I challenge you to an honorable duel! They can't hear you. Pardon? They can't hear you. My epithet makes things quiet. We're muted right now. Sorry. Oh, uh, how do I... Just step uh, a little that way. Oh, oh okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> You there! You are bad guys! And so I challenge you to an honorable <coughs> duel! Who the heck is that? And how did he get so toned? Doesn't matter. He challenged us! And nobody messes with the Bonsai Blasters! We accept your duel, unreasonably buff stranger! The Bonsai Blasters, form up! Hey, yeah. Hmm, the battle of posing, is it? Very well! I accept! Ha! In disposing! His rippling muscles catch the light of the evening sun! He looks downright majestic! Oh my god. Ha! Nobody is a bigger poser than us! Flamethrower does male cheerleading on weekends! Come on, man! Don't tell him that! There's no reason to be ashamed of it, dude! You're not really good at it! Well, shut up! Fine! Whatever! Just form up! Ha! Most impressive. <laughs> You're pretty good yourself. Seems like we're an even match. This is so weird. You, yeah. girl. This is weird. Which yeah. one of us is the better poser? Uh, Mr. Barrier? Ha! Victory! The first strike is mine! Wait, is he Mr. Barrier? Or... Ah! <laughs> oh. It appears I am stuck. No! Flamethrower! He had the coolest name! Did I flip through it out? You'll get a cool name when you earn one, Ben! Well, I know. How about Kid Puncher? Why would you call yourself Kid Puncher? Oh, 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 I'm the kid. Oh, no. Quickly, small warrior! Defend yourself! <laughs> My empathy can't really attack. It just makes things quiet or stupid. Uh, she grabs a box of thumbtacks off the secretary's desk and chucks them across the floor. These are now thumbtacks. What? Not cool. That's super dangerous. They lean down and begin carefully picking up the tacks. Boss says safety is important. Yeah, how are we supposed to beat up a small child with all these thumbtacks in the way? Wait, I know! What if we go around the thumbtacks? Uh-oh. <laughs> in case you're looking for feedback from a focus group, I just wanted to say that Kid Puncher is kind of an underwhelming bad guy named <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a hostage. A hostage? No! A classic bad guy maneuver. I am powerless to save her. I'm sorry. Do not give up, tiny warrior. You must never give up. Remember, you have your epithet. Surely there must be some way it can help you. Um, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. There is this one thing I can do, I guess. I'm not really supposed to use this on people, though. Wait, wait, what was her epithet again? I think she said it was stupid? No, I said it was dumb! <laughs> hey, why'd you let go of her? What did you do? It worked? Okay, it worked! Um, okay, um, you are a car, and you're out of control, and you really want to hit that guy! Well, that looks 
see a car crash. Ben? Ben? Buddy? Ben stares with blank eyes. Eyes one might compare to headlights. Beep, beep. No. Not again. Beep, beep. Ben, you idiot! Beep. Can you help free me from this wall? I'd like to, but I don't know if the laws of physics will allow it. Do not worry. Lady Mera says laws are merely suggestions. That's gonna be a lot to clean up. Maybe we should call the police. Oh no! I have been explicitly told not to call the police for any reason! Really? But what about those other guys who ran deeper into the museum? Hmm. There are other guys! No. I think Amira is trying to As steal the necklace. I don't know. I don't know. know how those ruffians to get their hands on her! Come! <sighs> Wait! Can I at least use your cell phone? There you go, the two squares. There we go. Sleeps on a race car bed. Favorite colors hot red, pink, and hot, hot red, 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 and pink. Size tiny. Most valuable employee of the month award. So this is where the museum keeps all of its valuables. No employee's only sign is strong enough to keep us out. All right, lady, hand over your treasures. What? Just like all of them? What's your point? <coughs> you? you just gonna waltz out of here with a literal metric ton of exhibits on your back? I don't know. Just the cool ones, then. Just the cool ones. You dopes didn't think this through at all, did you? What a waste of my time. <laughs> we'll show you. I've brought the best armed bonsai blasters money could buy. Oh, yeah? And how much does your allowance buy you? Uh, free. I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Stupid oh lady God. can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Take aim. They level their pea shooters at her. Fire! <laughs> Hang on. What happened? I'm afraid your bullets have no chance of reaching Lady Mary. For my epithet is failure! Bendis, how did you sneak in so quietly? You never do anything quietly. So, we can't hit you from a distance, huh? No problem. Giovanni takes out a wooden bat with a knife taped to it and crouches down. Steve an axe wouldn't be easier. Where did he go? Teleports behind you. I'll show you what happens when you underestimate Giovanni Potage. No, let him go. Okay, you guys have to play 
Uh, I don't know why I'm starting the next video. This is our watch later playlist. Those Super Super commercials. <laughs> um. <coughs> So, okay, I'm sorry, credits. I just, I, I, cause, cause we're gonna, we're gonna pop back over, and, and I don't want to be waiting and distracted and make sure the next thing doesn't start. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I don't like the way the animation is done. Yeah, it bothers the, me a lot. The animation reminds me. Of like, and I don't like that they narrate everything they do. No, that was a good too. But the, the animation reminds me of like Game Boy Advance or early like RPG JRPG sometimes, where they do these weird kind of things because they only have limited space. And I guess it makes sense because I don't know how many people are working on this. I mean, I'm quite picky when it comes to shows, so I mean, it probably is good if you're not as picky as I am. But yeah. It- I kind of want to know what happens, but I think I'll just Google it to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, because, like, that... And then they just kind of made all the grown-ups, like, idiots. idiots. And just, I feel like whoever makes these things don't like grown-ups very often, very much. Like, they just, they have a hatred for grown-ups. <laughs> Why? Of, of Crow's whole, uh... Yeah, like, they just... Why is my name spelled with a Q? Yeah, they just kind of make every grown up like just no. Like. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not entirely sure where I rank this either. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, it made me tired though. Which is usually a precursor to you zoning out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, and then it made me hungry. Well, because when you start, like, not paying attention to everything else, like, your body is kind of like, Hello, notice me. I haven't eaten today. You're acting like you're not hungry, but you are. Just because you don't care doesn't mean you're not. I have to zoom out as your hand moves to the square so we can see it move around your body. <laughs> me, me, me. Honestly, what it made me think of... Would like that be a great way to have someone animate a Dungeons and Dragons campaign? Remember that Dungeons and Dragons movie? I actually kind of liked it. I did. I'm sorry. That movie was terrible. I know, but it was entertaining. It wasn't. Yes, it was. I think I prefer Epitaph. Uh, I think you need to rewatch it. You'll find I'm right. It's a true story. Mm-mm. Right, Max? Mm-mm. I still have my hair. It's too long. Like right here. <clears throat> oh, my ridiculous. God. I look ridiculous. Anyway, um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do going forward. I don't know. Um, I was also kind of curious about what's going to happen. I'm curious about what Lady Mara's power is. I assume that she must have some sort of power. Well, considering she broke up the barrier. Well, she broke up the barrier. Them. Really? 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 Why would she hold her hand out then? Dramatic pose. They had a pose battle after all. Yeah. Indus and the guy is not her. I don't know. She doesn't care enough to do a pose We're, we're going to see how, how this goes forward. We may watch more. We may not. We'll talk about it. Um, but it was definitely unique. It was. It was unique. Um, it is family friendly. Obviously. I will say that. Um, but I think the kids would be bored out of their minds, especially Clara. She has very short attention span. I don't span. know. Really? See, you think she'd enjoy watching the little blocks? She might. See, that's the thing about Clara. She Sometimes she loves things I don't understand why, and I can never see why anyone would like them. And other times she hates things that I think are really awesome. So it's like, she's a mystery to me. She may or may not like it. I have no clue. I mean, God damn it! she likes the stupid video thing about the, the Fruit Loops or the, the one, remember the cereal, the stupid singing one you don't want to put on ever? Oh, the Cocoa Puffs? Yeah. Uh, Why would anyone like that? She likes 
She might. I don't know. She might. I, honestly, my only issue, I think, and I feel like it's unfair because I know this is made on YouTube. She, she, she likes it because she made a poor choice on Friends. <laughs> no. I'm back to the, the actual on topic here. I think the issue I have biggest is the animation, but I feel unfair saying that about this because I feel like... Yeah, like obviously someone worked really hard and obviously we couldn't do what they oh did. Oh, no. You know, Mm-mm. but... And they are good artists. Yeah, I didn't say anything about the artistry. It's just the fact that it is not to my personal liking. Yeah. There are people out it's, there who would like that, but it's, I think it's, honestly, it's, it's just It's not an acquired funny. taste sort of yeah. thing. Because... Clearly, I, I know they probably did this because it's far easier to draw something and have it an animated still picture and like switch, switch back and forth between like, you know, poses and stuff. But it felt like paper dolls from when I was it little. It did. Do you remember those? Which I actually goes with the That's narrating. That's literally what I thought of. Like, but I think that also goes with the narrating thing. Like, does yeah. This. And then the mouths don't completely move all the time. Sometimes when they're talking, their mouth just like opens. And stays there. That's why it makes me think of like an old it's JRPG. It's paper dolls. It's paper dolls. It's paper Mario. It's paper. Actually, oh, God, yeah. It is, it is paper, paper Mario, Mario, isn't it? It's literally paper Mario. Because he turns like that. He does the... <laughs> doop, doop, doop. <laughs> oh, it's paper Mario. It's paper Mario, Max. Max doesn't care. Max is like, paper Mario, can I eat it? Max is like, oh, you're going to pet me? Oh, stay right here. Man. So, yeah, we'll definitely have this coming to you guys. I don't know when. I have to see all the people. You just here. licked my pants. Don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. If you like our content, whether or not we like this, um, or like, comment, subscribe. Um, we... Sorry, Mr. Styro. Yeah, we'll see about going forward. Maybe we'll have Clara watch this. Well, Don't someone think. suggested I should do She Ra next. Which yeah. I wanted to watch, but Clara does not want to. That's something we can do. I personally am thinking about when Picard finishes his run recording Picard. Just me. If somebody doesn't want to watch it with me. I'm not. It's not happening. Um, but preferably. There's uh, some shows on Amazon Prime I want to get to, but I don't know if I'll do reactions. I would love to do a couple of those That as well. one where, it's the, where they uh, focus on bipolar in one of the episodes. I definitely want to see that one. Okay. Um, but we will see going forward what we're going to do with this. Maybe we'll show Clara it, see if she likes it. Any other offers of shows we should watch? Yes. Comment them. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, but keep in mind, we will not pretend to like something. Sorry. Yeah. This is our genuine reaction. We're always going to give you that. Yeah. So, again... Art was great. It may not be I the didn't, popular opinion, but... I did not mind any of the acting. I thought the acting was good. I didn't mind the actual story for what it was. Okay. It was o- it was over the top for what it was. Yeah, it was over the top. But it was... That was clearly... There's, there was no... I'm trying to act this way. They all fit. I actually think they all did. It's just the animation was weird. <coughs> and... I think that was my biggest problem. Really. And the narrating thing. Especially when you're talking about his muscles, it's like... Yeah, that was just a bit much. Anyway, so... When there are, like, nudity shots and, like, sex scenes in shows, like, even if it's us watching it, even we'll feel awkward, because it's like... Mm, I'm good. But that's not what we had here. No, but he was like... I don't know. Glistening muscles. Glistening or? muscles. It's like that weird, like, really bad romance novels with the heaving bosoms. <laughs> like, that's literally what it was. What? It's true. Anyway. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nobody's bosoms heave. If mine heave, it's because I freaking can't breathe because I don't have a freaking inhaler. I swear I'll call the doctor at some point. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> tell a friend, share a video, complain at us, dislike the video, like the video, subscribe. Don't, dis- don't tell them to dislike the video. Dislike David if you have to. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>